Okay, so hey everyone. I made a collection purchase from Japan, so this is going to be a collection with, I think, well, this is really strong tip, with a lot of uh, hollows. And, and there's also probably some interesting items in here. So I figured I'd make a video about it. Let's see if I can open it properly. Wow, that's pretty cool. All the cards are in these weird little boxes. I've never seen these before. Yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, so I guess I'll leave this for last because I can actually see something in it, which is... Okay, I'm gonna have to show my cat for a sec. What are you doing with your... She's just watching me open the cards. Okay, so this was a, a decently sized collection of like, I think a hundred or, or over a hundred holographic cards. I don't know the condition, but I'm assuming they're played, but let's just go in and have a look. There's all kinds of stuff in here. So I'm just going to go over the cards together with you. Check for the condition and such. I hope that the <laughs> that the, the lamp is not too much of a glare. Okay, so far really decent condition. It's they're played, but that's fine. Maybe we will find a few near mint or mint cards in here. I'm actually looking over the top of my camera, so <laughs> maybe I'll make a bit of glare for you guys unfortunately but just want to go over the cards together so for this collection i think i paid 300 or 400 uh dollars oh, that's pretty cool you don't really see the the hollow specs very often like complete usually there's a line going through them i really like this smurgle this was the first card that i ever got from the the neo series and I got it like before that, <laughs> before the the Johto Pokemon were ever released or any information was given out like in uh, in the Netherlands. So I pretty much was the only person at school who had one of the new Pokemon which had not been released yet. So to me that was just really nice, and that card has stick stuck for with me for a long time. I've not actually sent it off to PSA. Uh, one second, I'll clean my nails. They're kind of... Okay, so let me get back into it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So pretty much the way I purchase my Japanese cards is that I know someone who lives in Japan and they have like a local card shop where they pretty much just go every once in a while. And if there's like a collection or somebody who contacts the store, well, that's just in pretty decent condition. If they contact the store uh, and they say like, hey, I want to sell my, uh, my collection, they will sometimes get in uh, contact with my friend and he will just send the pictures to me and see if I will buy it <laughs> instantly. So I probably pay more than the, than the average uh, person who visits the shop, but I think it's a pretty decent price usually which I get for the cards. I'm always happy with it at least. So I think including like import tax and shipping for this entire collection, I paid like 500, which I think is fine. Like there's some special cards in here, which will definitely just stay in my collection. And like the, for the, the regular hollows, I will probably just try to see if there's any perfect ones in there and then I'll try to upgrade my binder as much as possible so I pretty much just look at my binder collection and then just upgrade the cards that are inside the binder collection if the cards from this collection are nicer 
Okay, so there is a few cards like this one, especially really cool. It's the Beedra Hollow from uh, Neo Discovery. This was actually never, uh, never made into a hollow in the English uh, English set. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a pretty nice swirl here in the in the wing. This one is inside a sleeve, and it looks really clean. So that's also something that I'm looking for. Yeah, this looks incredibly clean. That's really nice. So also just look for cards that I might be sending off to PSA. And I think that card was definitely one that might be going there. Here we have the Butterfree, which is also from Neo Discovery. For some reason, I think I think the, the English side of the series, they thought like, well, we have to do the rares because otherwise people are going to lose like the gambling aspect of it. And they'll be like, oh, if there's a hollow in every pack, then they're not worth anything. I think that's maybe one of the marketing strategies that they went with. But I don't think that there were enough cards to actually make into rares for these sets. So they decided, okay, I'm actually, sorry. <laughs> Before I damage the card, I'm going to put this in another sleeve because these sleeves are not really great. So I think they pretty much just went like, well, we need some more cards that we can have in the rare slot. So they just <laughs> took away the hollow from these cards which is a bit unfortunate but oh here we have a really cool card or at least i like this one this is one that you can also find in the vending series but it's from the uh bulbasaur and uh, squirtle starter deck and it's in really good condition like there's some minor minor defects with it but it's in really good shape so i didn't like uh the way that the cards were listed like they were listed like this so you couldn't see the rarity mark so maybe maybe probably not we might see like a no rarity card in this set but probably not from the base set so yeah i don't know why this one is sleeved because it is a little bit played but that's fine like also that's one of the ways that i look at these collections like i don't really need to make like a huge margin on it. I just love going through these cards. And also there's just a lot of people in the Netherlands that are looking for these. It's really hard to find them and there's not a lot of people selling them. So I figured this is a nice way for me to just collect and buy stuff that's actually really cool. Like I help my friend out, he helps out the store there. So yeah, pretty much everybody wins. Oh, I see a very nice card coming up. And yeah, these cards all look really great. So here we have the Erica's Venusaur. Very nice. I think that the light might be a bit dark, but oh, that's unfortunately on the top. You can see it has like a little dent. I think there's a lot of cards with those kind of dents because if you put the card in like a top loading uh, map, like you would maybe sometimes push it in or something that could like damage the top. Like you see that very often with, with cards. Where it's like the card is perfect, but then on the top it's like a little indent. Like here you can also see it. So it's just <laughs> people putting in the card a bit too rough into the into the into the sleeve or into the binder. But wow, these cards are in really good shape. I was I was kind of hoping for that because the pictures looked really good, but these are really clean and <laughs> like I think these were at some point all in a binder because this one also has the like the, the dent on the top and here you also have like a small dent on the top but i'm really happy with these i was worried that maybe they were all in like played condition but and they're not so that's really nice there's also some very special things in this collection which we will probably see at some point like i'm not going to sleeve up every card on the video i'll do that carefully afterwards because otherwise the video is going to take years and years <laughs> but yeah there were some really special cards in here which i think are really cool like for example okay this is not one of the special ones but i still need this one for my binder collection and wow it looks really clean yeah it looks really nice there's a little little ding or like a little bend on the top but apart from that it looks really nice like you can also see, I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera, but there's like a little scuffing on the card, but that's fine for a binder. 
like as long as it's just oh there's one more here i'll also show these like this is also one of the cards which in the neo uh, revelation set hello okay focus yeah there we go these were still in hollow so these are japanese exclusive for the hollow version so they were never made holographic in the english set so i think these are really 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 nice and they're so underappreciated like you can still i'm probably selling these for like 15 each or 20 maybe a bit more i don't know if the market has changed much but i'm like well maybe i should just keep all of these because yeah they are like really exclusive artworks for just the japanese cards so yeah that, that's kind of like they shouldn't be that low of a price or at least in my opinion but I don't know, I don't really want to to like affect the market or anything. So just, if you're looking for a price, don't listen to me and <laughs> just look on eBay. <clears throat> also, just do your own research. Don't just listen to someone on a YouTube video who says, hey, this card is going to be worth a million euros, because it's, or dollars, probably dollars. But yeah, usually those people are just saying that because they own a lot of the card and they're like pumping up the price. This one also also one of the cards that has never been released as a hollow in the English set. So it's very nice. I'm actually gonna turn the lights a little bit and try to make it a bit like brighter for you guys because I think that it's pretty dark. So here we have a very nice Misty Skull Duck. We have a okay now it's actually glaring in my face. <laughs> I think this is fine. We have the Vaporeon from Jungle, one of the, uh, the Kabutops from Neo Discovery. So yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with this purchase. Cards look in really good shape. Like they're not, from what I've seen so far, there, there's no PSA 10 or like perfect cards, but they're all in like near mint or at least excellent condition. Although I'm not sure, so I'm not sure why I rambled on for like a minute about that. Oh, very nice. We have the Magneton from Neo Revelation, which I also still need for my own binder. Wow, and this one looks really nice. <coughs> wow, I... <laughs> Sometimes I'm annoyed that the cards are so perfect. Perfect. Perfect, because I think that this one I might have to send off to PSA because it's really clean. But that still means that I'm going to have a gap in my binder collection. Unless there's maybe another Magneton in here, there might be, I'm, I'm not sure. So yeah, some of these cards are really clean. And that's also something I do with these collections, and I'm like, well, I see some cards in sleeves and there's some special cards in here. Like, if, if a few of those cards get like PSA nines or maybe a 10 like a few of those cards will just pay for everything and the rest of it will be free so that's also something that i look for when i buy these collections like i can just ask the friend that's buying these for me like hey uh, if you've had a look at these are they in good condition are they not and he's not going to go over all of the cards because the shop is very busy and he's also very busy but if it's a bigger collection definitely they will have a look so for this one i i didn't ask specifically because there was just like well we have this and it's probably going to be sold very quickly so i'll contact you about it <laughs> and i was like absolutely i'll buy it so wow these are very clean that's just really nice that's also uh, one of the holographic cards which has been debunked and and like made into a rare rather than a hollow from the uh neo revelation set and here we have even another one so i might just end up like holding on to like a lot of these because i think that maybe at some point people will realize like hey these are like pretty unique and like even though there's a holographic card in every booster pack from this uh oh we have a <laughs> okay now it's played uh we have a uh lickitung from the southern islands so like those unique ones i think i might just keep on to them because they're they're so cheap like it's not really worth selling them uh, individually if it's for such a low price and maybe if there's like i think the band cards so like the the misty's tears and the 
some of the other ones. They're already going really high in price, especially in like mint condition and stuff. Like I think that the the higher ones are like selling for a few hundred each. So maybe like once there's like a YouTuber who's like, oh my god, these are so cool. They might go up in price a little bit. But I'm not saying this as, oh, they will. I'm just saying that that's something I'm taking into consideration. And like there's so much stuff in here that I will probably end up selling. Because there is just <laughs> so much stuff. And I for my binder, I want the best cards. But not perfect cards, because perfect cards I will probably send off to PSA. Because I'm... I'm working on, or at least I have decided, oh wow, I've never actually seen it. Like, I've seen the this trainer card in the tunnel, but I've never paid attention closely. Like, I thought it was like some kind of wormhole. Like, I should look up the name of this card, but there's like Diglets and Ductrio on it. That's really cool. So it's probably some kind of cavern. Like, that's in pretty played condition, but that's fine. So yeah, I'm I'm slowly like working on like a PSA nine sets of like all of the old hollows from this from this era. I sent off just quite a few cards already, which I think will probably get like a like a nine, maybe maybe even a ten there somewhere, and probably a lot of them will get like an eight, but that's fine. So I'll, I'll be slowly working like in the next few years. I'll be working on that, and like the extras, I will probably just sell. But I'll try to do it as much as possible just by buying my own collections, buying my own cards. Oh, okay, there's... <laughs> I thought there was maybe something special in the back, but I think it's just... Yeah, it's just some wrapping paper so that the cards don't shuffle around too much. Okay, I'll put this down and close the... Close the box. So yeah, this is gonna be a very long video and I might make two parts of it. But actually, I probably won't. <laughs> We have a Zubat that's not going to go into focus. My girlfriend will like this one. I'll probably give it to her. She likes Zubat a lot. Here's just some more vending cards. You have the Haunter. These are also in really nice shape. Like, honestly, very good. You don't see them that often. Oh, this is cool. We have one of the Mewtwo's. And I don't know if you can see it, but it has like little, uh, like a, a white T on its uh, leg. And then right here. There's like a few numbers, so that is one of the error versions from the. Uh, that's one of the error versions from the vending series, so that's pretty cool. Here we have just a few of the premium file binder cards, and just some more random non hollows. These are mainly vending cards, so and they're all in really good condition. So I'm really happy about that. Like, I did see something which I will show at some point in the video when I come across it, which made me think that the person who was collecting these was probably maybe a little bit more serious than the average, like, person who has everything in their binder. So I was hoping that maybe the cart would be in a bit better condition. But looking at these, they're really clean. So I'm really happy about this purchase. So yeah, there's a lot of vending carts and they're in good shape. I'm still working on the vending series, like getting them complete. And that's gonna take a long while, probably. Okay, so here we have another box. And we have more of the Bulbasaur deck cards, or at least one of them. Here's the Electabuzz, pretty nice. Uh, okay, I'm actually <laughs> running out of space to put the cards. I'm going to sleeve all of these like eventually, so don't worry. After I'm done videoing this, I'll be sure to like not damage any of the cards, and I'll put them in sleeves. I'll check for the condition some more. Okay, so these are very blade. That's fine. They're from base set, so that's generally pretty decent. Though they do very well, at least here in the Netherlands, they sell pretty well. I think I can give a pretty good price on them because I, like I mentioned, I'm not picking these up for like a really expensive price. So I can give, so I can sell them for a lot low, lower than most people might. Like when I'm uh, watching on Facebook, sometimes I see cards going for like five times the price that I'm asking for them. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but then again, I don't really want to charge 
like an incredible amount of, of money for these cards because i do have like the advantage of having like a friend who can get these cards from me from japan and i like helping people complete their collections as well it's always very satisfying to have like a reply from someone who's like oh i really needed that card for my collection thank you so much and that's just very very nice and honestly, if I put them up for like a really, really high price, I might get might get a bit more money for, for it. But also I just like having money back quickly so that I can buy more cards faster. So here we have one more of the Bulbasaurs. I'm, I'm happy that these are in there and they're very nice condition. I'll probably give uh, like these two to a friend of mine because he really likes Bulbasaur. This is from the Vending series. You can see the little Pokeball logo here. Here is a blade victory bell in a sleeve. It's just a gray sleeve. Okay, I'm gonna make some more, <laughs> more space on the side. There's a lot of cards already. So this is a lot of hollows in this lot. And then probably, probably soon there will be, at least I'm hoping to get it today, like the FedEx, uh, which helps me ship it they said that it would be delivered today but i have not heard anything from it for a while but yeah there should be like five thousand cards <laughs> like i bought a few big collections so i, I i'm getting like five thousand cards in a box i think it's like in total it's like 18 kilos <laughs> the package so i'm definitely gonna have fun with that I have no idea what's in there. There's a few hollows I could see and a few English cards. And something about uh, Japan and English cards is that Japan does have, for some reason, I think most of the cards come from starter decks, but also they do seem to have a decent amount of first edition base sets and especially a lot of shadowless because I think most of the theme decks coming from Japan are shadowless. So in a few weeks, I'll probably also be getting a, uh, oh, we have a Gyarados. I already have like two people who <laughs> requested one. Like I was selling like two, I was selling two of them a while ago and they just went instantly. People just were like, oh, I want them. And then there were like five more messages like, oh, do you still have these? So, oh, these are big and these are in really, really nice condition. So I'm going to put those to the side. Is this one also? Like you can't, you probably can't tell because of the sleeve, but from what I can see, those are perfect. Okay, like this one has a little bit of whitening and that's fine, but the sweet coins are incredible. Like if, if I were to send those off to PSA and both of them were to get a 10, like those two cards would be worth more than <laughs> I paid for everything here. So I'm really happy with this. And we have a Typhlosion from the premium file, also in really good shape. We have a plate Umbrian, or uh, not Umbrian, Flarian. It has like a little ding here and just some edge wear. And oh, the back is really bad. Like it's so smudged that it actually looks like a fake card. But I think it's, yeah, it's real, but it's just very old <laughs> and very played. So there's also a lot of these mixed in. You can see that they have no rarity symbol. Like they come from uh, a theme deck, so that it's not special for these, uh, or they, they don't come from a theme deck, from a binder, uh, from the premium file binders. If you Google, like, if you don't know what they are, just Google premium file one, uh, maybe like Genesis, like on the back, and you get like all of the starters from this set. So in a binder and they don't have a rarity mark. Like for some reason, <laughs> for the most of the English sets from the Neo, they decided, oh, let's get some of the hollows and make them into rares. But for Neo Genesis, they decided to also include these promos into the actual set. So here we have a just gorgeous, gorgeous, really nice looking. Wow, that's really going to, I can't see anything wrong with it. No, wow. Okay, let's not drop it on the table. We have a very, very clean uh, nine tails. So really happy about that. And just these cards are just really immaculate. They're really nice. 
So with Japanese sellers, or at least from <laughs> when I buy from the shop, oh, there's a lot of cards in, in sleeves in this one. So when I buy from Japanese sellers from my friend, there's usually, usually everyone is like here in the Netherlands and pretty much everywhere. They're like, they collected this as a friend and pretty much, pretty much all the cards are like from kids and they had it in binders or in giant stacks. Okay, I'm really trying to get this off, get this out. Like, I think this is something really cool. Um, the person who sent this uh, mentioned that... Okay, this is some kind of gym card, I guess. Holiday gym, I don't know what it is. So the person who, who I purchased this from, or at least the person who, who owned the collection, said that this card has been signed by uh, Dr. Oyama. And I don't know, you can look at my... Oh, that's pretty cool. I think this is one of the Southern Islands uh, cards. I think they, he is the one that made the uh, the Oyama's Pikachu. And I think also probably some other artworks. So it's really cool to have like a, a signature of it. I don't know if it's legit, but I don't really see why anyone would fake this. <laughs> so that's really cool to have alongside of my Oyama's Pikachu. So I'll put that to the side as well. Okay, so there's quite a few cards in here, and I know that there's some very special ones in here. Or at least, to me, they are very special, like maybe to like the seasoned collector, they already own some of them. But I think that probably some people will not have seen these ones yet. These ones yet. So here we have just some more cards. I haven't seen any no rarity base set yet, which is unfortunate, I'm saying, but already like this collection is really, really worth its money. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. Like this also just really good condition. There's just some random like common <laughs> base set cards every once in a while. This one also has the, oh wow, you can see it very clearly here. At least I don't know if you can see very clearly. You can also see like a, a little kanji, kanji or katakana, like one of the, like some of the uh, Japanese writing on the legs. And here we have just a few more cards, really nice. And the camera doesn't get back into focus. And we have a base set Mewtwo. Which, well, it's in really good condition still. There's some whitening, but very nice. Oh, here we have a Mew from Fossil. Also one card that has not been introduced into the English set as this card in the Fossil set. So you probably already noticed this artwork and it's from the... Uh, the Blackstar promos, there's one promo which is non-hollow and then there's one which is a hollow. I think these are going for like $900 in like a 10. And looking at this from inside of the sleeve, it's really clean. Oh no, actually there's some smudging on the card. This is probably going into my binder because the one that's in my binder had some damage to it. Oh, here we go. This is like, I like that they're starting off the, <laughs> the cards that I was going to talk about. So. First, let's appreciate this Celebi for, for a minute. Really nice artwork. I really love this card. This is one, uh, this is a card that I also used to own when I was a kid. And of course, it's like, not like ho and Lugia were like legendary, but Celebi was even so legendary that he wasn't like in the complete Pokedex and he couldn't get them in the game. So to me, this has also, like mine was in English, but like to me, this has always been like one of my favorite cards. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. I see a little binder thing on top. So there's like someone who pushed the card in too, uh, with too much force, but this is just going into my Celebi, <laughs> into my Celebi binder. Like I decided to to just keep all of the Celebis that I'm getting. And these ones are really cool. These are uh, promotional cards. I think you would get them from the, uh, the Shinkansen. Like the train, the bullet train, um, if you were to like purchase a ticket. And these are, I think, like I might be completely wrong. And if I am, just let me know in the comments. And these are like, maybe this is in Gifu? Like I, this is Tokyo Tower, maybe? Like I'm not good with Japanese culture, so <laughs> I might be completely wrong with these. But these are really cool. Like, so they're promotional cards that you would get for uh, buying like a ticket in uh, for the train so i i don't have these ones yet so i'm going to try and collect the complete set but 
that might take a while <laughs> or i might just buy them outright like i think a complete set i could maybe get for like 150 or 200 euros but that's still quite expensive for me like i'd rather just collect them like one by one and just like try to find them like i always like doing that more than just buying a card outright so here there's a lot of the promos these are probably mostly promos <laughs> there's so many ugly buffs okay and these are okay so there are some cool cards coming up these are from the uh the neo revelation um the neo rev uh premium binder i'll also be getting that in the middle uh, in a while they look really clean as well so that's nice and then right here we have yes there we go we have celebi like another one just in really really good condition so this is probably also going to psa like <laughs> i am gonna get wrecked by psa or at least a new price increase because i have i still have like 200 cards which i was going to submit and then like the day before i was going to submit them i was like already putting in my package details and i was i almost already paid for like shipping the package and then they doubled the prices and like the the place where i'm sending my cards which is a great gem they closed down <laughs> so i'm probably gonna have to be literally paying like for all of those cards i'm pro okay i'm just shuffling through these i'll talk about them a little bit i'm probably gonna have to pay like two thousand euros more just to get those shipped this is really cool like i'm also happy to get this like before the new snap game is released this is one of the Koro Koro promos but it's uh one of the pokemon snap contest winners who uh, got their card turned into a promo card for Cor Cor for the Coro Coro mag magazine. So that's really nice to have. I already... I don't know if I have one of these. I think I already have one which has a crease. I think I paid like $40, $40 just for that card. Because at the time I I was kind of confused about where they came from. I thought it, that it was only a card given to like the... But it was apparently also a Coro Coro promo. Here we have another one of the Bulbasaur cards which is a Pikachu this time. And we have the Hamade's... Hamade... <laughs> I don't know, this is just a very weird sloking. From one of the movies. This card, I'm not sure what it is. It's a, a, a deck memo card. I'm not very familiar with these. I know that there's a few of these cards. Maybe this is from the Vending series, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look up where this is from. Oh, and here we have the original... So maybe we can confirm now, <laughs> probably not, that this is the Red Cheeks Pikachu, as you can see. And like, of course, later on, the cheeks have been turned to yellow, I believe. At least in the base set, there's like a difference between the the cards for the... Oh, that's pretty cool. Like the, the swirl is like almost on the exact same spot on these cards. So here we have from the Premium File 2 promos, we have the Charizard. Which I'm of course going to be looking over and it's in really good shape. So yeah, this has been just an amazing purchase. I'm really, really, really happy with this. Like this is the kind of <laughs> thing where I'm always like, well, you see these kind of purchases on YouTube and you're like, oh my God, you never get to hold one of these in your hands. But yeah, today I actually do. So I'm kind of happy with this. I'm not kind of, I'm really happy with this. These cards are in really, really good shape. And they're way better than I expected, so yeah, this this is just really amazing. There's probably a lot more of these. <laughs> so let's see how often they went to the movie. So that's five, and that's ten, and that's fifteen. And there's twenty twenty-three. So I'm not sure if this person went to the movie twenty-three times, but <laughs> there's twenty-three of these hitmon tops. So yeah. I am just really amazed by this. I'm really happy with these. I might just show a few off at the end. Uh, okay, so I figured I'd do a quick highlight because it's a very <laughs> long video. So I'll just go over the cards that I personally really like. I'll pretty much, like I mentioned in the video, I'll keep every single Smurgle from Neo Discovery and every single Celebi I'll just keep for my collection. I'll just stock those up because I really like those cards. and. I always wanted to have like a binder just filled with just one kind of hollow. Uh, so these are, uh, this is the promo, pretty cool. 
Uh, this one has like a little shift. Like there's like a gap between the, the yellow and the purple, which I thought was interesting. Uh, these will be uh, going into my binder because I don't have them yet or upgrading them. And then here is a lot of the uh, but the camera focus, the Japanese exclusive hollows. So yeah, I decided to just keep these and not sell them anymore. So I'll also be stocking up on those. <laughs> and then here we have the cards that I'm going to send off to PSA, which I think should probably all get like a, an 8, 9 or 10. So these are really nice. So I'm pretty much waiting for cards to come back <laughs> before I can actually start my Japanese PSA collection. But I guess the goal is to like have every single Watsi, or well, it's not really Watsi, but every single uh, uh, Gen 1 and Gen 2 hollow in either, well, at least all have them graded, like whether it's a 9 or an 8 or in a 10. I just want all of them to just have one of them. So I guess that's the that's the goal for now, and doubles and such I will just sell. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I'm really happy with all of these cards. Of course, there were way more cards, but I'm not showing everything because then it would, even for a highlight, take way too long. I should have probably a few other collections coming in soon and some other maybe exciting stuff. So yeah, subscribe and uh, maybe I'll see you uh, next time.